Hello, hello, dear viewers. Welcome to our channel. It's very good to have you here. In this video, we are going to have a look at construction and operation of radiator cap, symptoms of a bad radiator cap, and how can we inspect the radiator cap. The radiator cap is a small component that is located on the top of the radiator in vehicle's engine compartment. It is responsible for maintaining the pressure within the cooling system of the vehicle. The construction of a radiator cap typically includes metal or plastic body, spring, rubber seal, and pressure relief valve. The metal or plastic body of the cap is traded into the top of the radiator and has a small lever that allows it to be removed easily. The spring inside the cap is designed to maintain a specific pressure within the cooling system. This pressure helps to keep the coolant from boiling over and help to prevent damage to the engine caused by overheating. The rubber seal on the bottom of the cap creates a tight seal between the cap and the radiator. This seal helps to prevent leakage and ensures that the pressure within the cooling system is maintained. The pressure relief valve is designed to open if the pressure within the cooling system becomes too high. This helps to prevent damage to the engine and other components in the cooling system. Overall, the radiator cap is a small but very important component in a vehicle cooling system. It helps to maintain the pressure within the system and prevent damage caused by overheating. Now, there are several symptoms that may indicate a bad radiator cap. For example, coolant leakage. If the rubber seal of the radiator cap is worn or damaged, coolant may leak out of the system. Overheating. Faulty radiator cap can cause the cooling system to lose pressure, which can lead to engine overheating. Low coolant level. If the radiator cap is not sealing properly, coolant may evaporate or leak out of the system, causing the coolant level to drop. Steam coming out of the engine. If the cooling system is losing pressure, steam may escape from the engine. Coolant overflow. If the pressure relief valve on the radiator cap is faulty, it may open too soon or not close properly, causing coolant to overflow from the system. If you notice any of these symptoms, it is important to have your vehicle inspected by a qualified mechanic to determine if the radiator cap needs to be replaced. To check and inspect the radiator cap, follow the following steps. 1. Make sure that the engine is cool before opening the radiator cap. Two. Remove the radiator cap and inspect the rubber seal for any sign of wear or damage. 3. Check the pressure relief valve on the radiator cap to ensure it is functioning properly. You can do this by pressing down the valve with your finger and releasing it. It should spring back up and, and make a clicking sound. 4. Check the spring on the radiator cap to ensure it is not worn or damaged. Five. Inspect the tread on the radiator cap and the neck of the radiator for any sign of damage or corrosion. Finally, if you notice any issues with the radiator cap, it should be replaced with a new one. Regular inspection and maintenance of the radiator cap can help prevent costly repairs and keep your engine running smoothly. Well, dear viewers, that is all we have for you in this presentation about the construction, operation, and inspection of radiator cap if you like this video please smash the like button if you are new here do consider subscribing and turn on notifications so that you will be notified whenever we come up with another video till then stay safe